This is Local 4 News at 4. We're screen and we're here with Linda Cook, our movie, our movie reviewist. How are you doing, Linda? I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you here to tell us about today? Well, what two is? good movies. Good. And uh, they're, they're different, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, both are, one is good for families and the other is good for families maybe with older kids. Mm -hmm. that might want to learn a little bit about the king. Maybe they don't know about Elvis. So we'll start with that one. In fact, Austin Butler mm -hmm. is Elvis. And I had a little advantage over some of the people who've seen this movie. I remember Elvis. I remember some of these moments in his life. And the way the director, Baz Luhrmann, depicts these is really fun on the screen. Uh, this, now, this is two and a half hours, so this oh, is not a, a not a, in a, a, yeah, you commit the time, yeah. but it's <laughs> worth it. Uh, Baz Luhrmann is the director of Moulin Rouge, which is mm -hmm. a great movie, won a lot of acclaim. And again, he has this, these spectacles around the characters that are eye-popping wisely. He does not show... Um, Elvis's face mm -hmm. until Elvis hits the floor and Colonel Tom Parker is there seeing him for the first time and sees the frenzy this young man with his gyration sends this audience yeah. into. So we see the beginning of Elvis as something bigger than life. We see him go through the various transitions and unfortunately his downfall. And most people are familiar, I think, with Elvis's yeah. life. Yeah. I love the way this unfolds. I love the way we learn about what inspired him mm -hmm. as a musician, the gospel music. Yes, yes, I'm so happy they included that. They did, and this soundtrack can't be beat. I yeah. really like this movie. Strong performances here, and Austin Butler has, is now the person I'm sure that Hollywood is looking at. Three and a half out of four stars for me for this. How about Tom Hanks? I saw that he's in the movie too. He is. He plays Colonel Tom Parker and uh -huh. for me that just didn't work. I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan. Yeah, same here. And I just kind of thought eh, maybe they could have found somebody just a little bit different. And, um, mm -hmm. But that doesn't ruin the movie for me. But it could have been a little bit better I think with a different performer in that role. All right. Well, I guess we got to check it out. How about for the kids? What can they look forward to? Oh, Lightyear. <laughs> and, and I love the idea of the sequel. Uh -huh. This is not a Toy Story sequel. This supposedly, Andy from Toy Story, yeah. right, watched this movie and then bought the Buzz Lightyear doll. Mm -hmm. So Lightyear is a story of his hero. And I love the way he makes a mistake, or at least thinks he's made a mistake, mm -hmm. and the people around him have to work as a team to rectify everything. Mm -hmm. It embraces diversity like I've never seen before. Love I that. loved this part of it. Um, I like the idea of a thoughtful adventure film, yeah. but that's what this is. Uh, older people will think about the messages it sends forth. Kids will like the adventure. It is not cartoonish in any way. It's a true adventure with a lot of people working together, working against each other. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the message of teamwork. Love it. So what would you give this movie? I gave this three out of four stars. Okay. I thought it was solid. And um, there's a little robotic cat in it that mm -hmm. people I saw are going that. to commercial. love. It's so funny. Well. So funny and sweet. Thank you so much, Linda. I guess if you're not going to go out, you can always just go to the movies. Right. If you don't want to go out and, you know, cook out or do any of those things, you can just go to the movies. And you can do both if you have three out. days off. This is true. Thank you so much, Linda. Well, you can see Linda's full reviews at ourquadcities.com.